He what missing work. He missing jobs. <laughs> oh, you missing days. You been, been late okay. five days. Right. He ain't the one, baby. Oh he ain't the one. He the one who's going to have you on the street. Because the but, moment I marry right. you off, the moment I give you his hand, like, yo, boom. Yeah, you take right. his hand. Remember, it's leave the family clean to the husband. There we yeah. go. I got to make sure you in good hands. You yeah. ain't going to. Nah, that's why you're going to have to have your own car at 16. Make sure it's real nice to the point mm-hmm. where. You know, because we was in school. We already know, you know, women used to jump in the car with the dudes with the nice cars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you over here got the little busted yeah. thing. Right. You know, they, they dating up like 30, 34 years old because right. that's who had it. Like, yeah. nah, I'm going to set your president. You're going to have this and that to the point where you the one who intimidated. Mm-hmm. That way, right. if somebody wants to step to you, they know they got to come quick. You know what's funny? That's great thinking. Yeah. I always say fathers, active fathers create the women that they don't like. What? Yeah, active. <laughs> bring it down, bring it down. Bring it down. Oh, no. Active <laughs> fathers create the independent women that society hates so much. Mm-hmm. I am not who I am because my mother. I am the strong, vocal, independent woman that I am because of my father. Okay. And he could he complains. He'd be like, You be on you be on chills just talking so much shit. You, know, <laughs> you be talking so much shit. And I'd be like, You, you taught me how to talk this shit, big dog. Right. <laughs> active wow. fathers a lot of times will create that independent woman that has to like I, I know for a fact that one thing that I had to really learn as a woman and as a wife was I had to learn how to soften up mm-hmm. I had to learn how to um, take that armor off for my man because my father didn't taught me you don't need no nigga stand mm-hmm. 10 toes yes. okay Randy yes. so yeah. let, let, let's talk about that then yeah sure. yeah because yeah. yeah. that that's exceptional and that's, that's an I'm exception to the rule because I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you i have a lot of active men in my in my life a lot Ain't of nobody active, made you aggressive no 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 no, no listen lucky? to me i've seen <laughs> i've seen a lot of the my female cousins who had active fathers mm. some of them really are not independent oh. because they and i'm, I'm saying this yeah, because i've seen uncles who love their wives so much their wives didn't have to worry about cheating they didn't have to worry about any type of lies, not being able to have employment, mm-hmm. any instability. They didn't have to worry about that. They really got to just be women in the essence mm-hmm. of being a wife, wife, in the essence of being a mother, in the essence of being a woman. Mm-hmm. And they didn't have to struggle or try to survive or do anything like that. Mm-hmm. Anything like that. I'm a, re- I'm a firm believer that the way that your parents love each other is what you're going to learn from. So you want me to say... The I'm health a- of your parents, their mental mm. well-being, their emotional well-being, their spiritual well-being is what you're going to learn from. Right. So if you see that you have a father who's constantly cheating on his wife and she's constantly in a state of survival, <laughs> you're going to be independent and in that state of survival. We don't want to take right. it there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying... Mama, is you it. watching? <laughs> I'm just she saying. said it, not me. <laughs> I, all I'm saying is I have seen it. I've seen two sides. No, you're I, absolutely... I, I've that's... seen that and that's why I'm really big on parents healing mm-hmm. like we can point fingers at children all day from this from the age up to six mm-hmm. their mind is like little sponges mm-hmm. they're grabbing onto everything how you're responding how you're coping that's when we say generational curses that's what we mean mm-hmm. right. the coping mechanisms that we have adopted are learned behaviors and things like that so if i have seen parents love each other and love themselves mm-hmm. oh, i'm gonna cope the right way right Absolutely. So, for, so let's talk about it for me I saw my mom, my mom and dad are still still married, beautiful couple. Yeah. I I grew up with them though mm-hmm. in real life. And um I always loved the type of woman my mom is. She's yeah. a very soft spoken, like I'd be looking like I don't know how the fuck you had this no limit soldier, but for sure. Yeah. Right. She's soft spoken, she's very feminine, she's mm-hmm. very She's a, a traditional woman, mm-hmm. um, and but some of that traditional shit made it. So I was like, uh, I don't want to be like you. Yeah, I want right. to be like that nigga yeah. over there. Yeah. Like that nigga, yeah. My yeah. daddy be having a good ass time, big <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> you saw you your really? mama make sacrifices. Yeah, I saw her right. make a lot of sacrifices emotionally, yeah. mentally, yeah. physically. Probably you know lost saying? herself. Heard a lot of oh, yeah, it, when I and it, it breaks my heart actually because I I'll ask my mom right now like, hey. What did who were you or what did you want to do when you were a kid? Yeah. But I, I've learned to not internalize yeah. it because when she says like no, I wanted to be a mom and a wife, she right. meant that shit, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like she she yeah. she a hundred percent means that. When she she doesn't. It's never like oh, I wanted to be an astronaut. She's like no, I wanted to. I wanted yeah. to have you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I'd be like oh. Jesus, why you're, why you're so perfect? <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. So before we wrap up this episode, I want to talk about generational uh, blessings because mm-hmm. we talked about generational curses. But what are some things that your family gave you that are like good gems? You talked about, you know, having good balance, feminine and masculine energy mm-hmm. balance in your family. What, are, what else are some good things that your family gave you? Uh, you know what? I, I don't know if I'm going to take this the right way, mm-hmm. but we just going to go with it. Okay. Um, my family prioritized togetherness and mm-hmm. 
being about other people and not in a bad way. Definitely. Okay. They, they didn't prioritize or teach us to be selfish. Like my family is a big family, very given open home. It's like, we're going to love you and love you and love you not to sacrifice ourselves, mm -hmm. but we want to make sure that everyone is included. Everyone feels seen, everyone feels heard. And that's the reason why I always say for me, I was a child who was able to feel seen. It wasn't that, Oh, you stay in a child's place. Mm -hmm. You can't speak up. No, the family's like, well, I mean, if she see life the way life is, right. let, let her talk. And so it. that was a big blessing because I carried that with my children. It's like, I'm not minimizing you. If the baby got something to say, let the baby say it. We know when a certain conversation is not appropriate, mm -hmm. but to make sure that a child understands that you're not just a child. Like we brought you into this world. It's not just about, oh, we have a baby and then we just forget and we let them go through life. No. I want you to see the world for what it is. I want you to understand congruency and togetherness and building a community. So mm. that's the blessing that I received from my family. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sure. Poppy, what about yours? <laughs> what's like your family? What's your blessing? Um, uh, seeing my parents allow, you know, the, any of her kids back in the house at whatever age. Mm. That's, that's real. real. You feel me? 30, mm -hmm. 30, 40, to the mm -hmm. point where now it, it, it has changed my mindset of, you know, instead of that, you know, that curse 18, of, yo, yeah. 18, get your ass out. Yeah. You kick in somebody else at 18 that don't know how to balance a checkbook, don't even know how to mm -hmm. properly clean themselves or properly yeah. take care of themselves. Yeah. You leaving them out there in the big old world by themselves. Yeah, and it's girl. a lot to get into. We and already know that. Eat them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so to see my siblings or whatever come back in the house because of whatever reasons, either they move in close, uh, hardships, whatever it is, you know, just to see that, I'm like, Yo, that's dope. That that's, I'm not gonna kick my kids out the house. That's why I got to make this boom. Everybody gonna have a house on here. I told you, I'm, I'm controlling their life. <laughs> They're not gonna be controlled now. You feel me? Like, you get married right here, you get buried right here. Him too. Her too. We all right here. We all right here. I ain't mad at that. Super, what's your generational blessing that you get? Mine is my mama taught me everybody is family. Like, mm -hmm. I learned co parenting from my mom. That's mm -hmm. why I learned how to be cordial with. And it, anybody that's in my children's life, I've learned how to be cordial with them. Like, either this, my ex girlfriend, my ex wife, like, mm -hmm. whatever it is, like, I know how to be cordial with the women. Mm -hmm. I know how to not not cause trauma with the women. I know mm -hmm. how to not just have arguments. Like, I'd rather talk to the woman than my baby daddy's any day. Mm -hmm. So, I really look that's at real. their kids wow. as my kids. I look at my, my baby daddy, new kids as my kids. Like, mm -hmm. we one big happy family. Like, my mom really taught me it's, it's a village. You can't raise no children by yourself. That's all y'all gotta come together and raise all them kids together. And that's what I'm doing. That's the that's Hold on now. Hold on now. Because your girl got a whole co parenting. It's look. okay. I love it. But I'm just saying, the way she spoke, South. No, that is, that is some Southern shit. Because let me tell you, yes. when we wrote that co parenting book together, people was like, uh uh, y'all fucking? Like, <laughs> no, I'm not fucking hard. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What's your so uh, generational blessing? Um, I would say individuality. Mm -hmm. I was my, me, my sister, my father my mother on her side, my grandfather, they were all stars in our city. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because they were all themselves yeah. in a world where everybody's trying to be like somebody. Mm -hmm. And that has never changed, mm -hmm. you know? And I think I, I keep that individuality with my children too. Mm -hmm. I don't, I never wanna control the way you think, right? Mm -hmm. I just wanna make sure you see what's out there. Yeah. And I want you to be yourself no matter what happens. And I think a lot of times, we don't even know, but we try to put our kids on this path because we know it's safe, mm -hmm. but it could be taken away from who they really are meant to be. Mm -hmm. And I understand that when you are your individual self, you can actually possess the most impact to the world. Mm -hmm. So we're actually robbing the world by trying to condition our children 